hi guys welcome to my youtube channel and this is my first video so i hope you guys like it i like this youtube shit look easier than it fucking is because i just struggled to put up a camera because i need to get the angle yeah. <laughs> welcome back to the youtube channel my name is Shabana and i want to start a youtube channel because i don't got nothing else to do look my setup y'all mm -hmm. yeah i know it's great I'm working on it, but I wanted to make a YouTube channel to show like my life and my growth and my goals and like if y'all find it interesting, watch it. If you don't, I'm so sorry. Just for me whispering if that's like okay, but like my mom's in the house and it's so embarrassing like her walking in and, and then mm -mm. I think I'll avoid that. But anyways, so today I'm going to be doing a uh, get ready with me and a get to know me kind of thing. And I do say and a lot and I don't look the camera. Maybe this isn't for me. It's 3.38 p.m. in the afternoon and you're probably wondering why the fuck aren't you ready at, by now? Like, it's the days I'm before. And I don't. True, true. I was deep cleaning my room. I cleaned my closet out because I have so much clothes that I don't wear. Like, I feel like I'm like, I just, sometimes I can't like, go and I don't know why. And it's like, it's like I can't do that when I'm already showered and do my skincare and tell you guys about myself and things that I want to do. And if I say and one more time, I'm done with the video. y'all we are back and showered and i just have this cute little roll bar and i just used this to lotion my body it's from bath and body works and my mother-in-law got it for me for christmas and it smells so good it is something open my face is dry as fuck i gotta tell you but that will end with my toner this is the best toner ever so I am currently 17 years old and I am in college. <laughs> I graduated early at the age of 16. Don't ask me why. I'm still thinking about it. I have like goals that I want to do in life. So I was like, might as well get ahead of it. So I took like night classes and stuff like that, which was night classes and having a job. <laughs> but I am majoring in health science. I want to go for nursing, of course. Like, working. Like, I am a workaholic. I love working all the time, every day. And I don't let that dry. I got promoted at my job, and I was a pharmacy technician for six months. And I recently just quit. Yeah, I loved it, though, because I learned what I needed to do, what I needed to learn. And I just feel like there's a time and place for everything and sometimes you just have to move on and i moved on and right now i am unemployed but it's okay because everything happens for a reason i'm a great believer in that and i feel like i will find my way and there's no way that i will not not have a job right and this one with this or what i got left of it Fuck off. Bitch, this is like $35. I'm gonna get my money's worth. Currently, I'm about to go into my second semester of college. And, bitch, it's, it's game mode. Like, I am so locked in. And I feel like everybody's saying that this year. Like, this year just feels so, like, empowering. And I'm so here for it. Because I'm ready. I'm ready to live my life, live my dreams, do what I gotta do. I am also planning to move out in July of 2024. And... If everything goes well, that's literally the plan. Like, I order. I order clothes, and I got, like, kitchenware sets that aren't going to be used till next year. But, okay. I'm going to go in with this. I know it says overnight oil, but I use it day and night, and it literally makes my skin so good. So, I'm just for, like, this much, and I go like that, and then I rub it in my hands. But, 
anyways yeah so that's a little bit about myself for today i'm just getting ready because i'm gonna go to plato's closet i gotta send back a package i'm so terrible at sending stuff back like i literally will let it sit in a box so that's the goal for today now we're going in with our dual acne treatment from la roche posay everything is like la roche posay and cerave i love it but my face right here just like likes to break out or like right here and like currently i've applied to rite aid i've been interested in rite aid because it's closer to my house and i don't have to drive like 20 fucking minutes and feel rushed when i get to school so i feel like that's better and and that will do me some good i'm like okay with being an employee for right now but i don't want it to be like a permanent thing because i will lose my mind so yeah so right now i'm just chilling you know i'm gonna go in with the la roche posay triple moisturizing cream i am in love with this it hydrates my face so well and i'm really down to the bottom of it but i will use every last drop before i buy the one y'all look like there's stuff in there trust yeah, i'm planning to move into my apartment i don't really have like an area where i want to live in yet i just i'm kind of exploring like my options because i'm not like, holding myself down to like staying in the area like i'm okay with like driving back and forth i mean so i got a car so i like to warm it up on my hands and i just put it on my face but yeah i've been wanting a wiener dog girl for the longest my mom said no i've been wanting a wiener dog for too long it's just like yay big yay wide like come on and they're gonna be my best friend trust my face looks like oily, but trust that like it soaks into my face and it keeps it hydrated for so long. I just love that about this face cream. I'm gonna go in with my SPF, my La Roche Posay. And don't ask me why it says 100 because I literally just grabbed the first one that I saw. If it works, it works. You know, stick to what you know. So I'm gonna go in with this one. I'm gonna put some in. It like melts into my face, which I like. And so I'm gonna put that into my face. My goals for 2024 are definitely, I literally am dying to buy a new car. I right now have an Infiniti G37, and I love her. I really do. She's my first car. You know, you always love her now. But I definitely want to buy a 2024. But I have to wait until I'm 18. So, give me six months. But, and after that, I'm going to build, like, my credit up and stuff like that. Because I want to have, like, good credit, so I don't have really like a high payment to do monthly towards like the endish or like november october of 2024 is when i think i'll invest in one because a car's a liability y'all like but you know if i'm where i want to be at in the future i think that'll be great for me works on my face like with these little dots too it works on it and it brings them down so if it works, it works, mama. I'm gonna go with this, which I went to Vegas two weeks ago, I think. And this is what I use when I put my little um gel in there. So I'm just like, I'm just gonna keep it. I'm gonna go with this spoolie, just a little bit on there. Y'all, Vegas was so much fun. I fucking love Vegas. Like, I'm thinking about moving there. I wanted to move to North Carolina, but I just don't want Vegas heat, but I want Vegas vibes because it is so much fun out there when we went to his auntie though i just love the vibes i love the environment and yeah i'm hoping that i don't have to do an extra semester like i low-key want to graduate from college early because i feel like i didn't graduate from high school early for no reason like i have so many plans and like going into the nursing career like that takes years to like know your shit and i'm just like i need to be on top of my stuff knowing my stuff and i need to do that in a time of matter because i each at their own pace but if i feel like i'm ready in my life my mindset and where i am i'm like fuck it do it so i will be graduating and i'm gonna graduate 2024 2024 is the goal 2024 is gonna be my year i will have my dream car i will have my apartment i really do want to go to st elizabeth because i just feel like that's just so close to home comfortable and i feel like there's nothing wrong with being comfortable i feel like starting off you start off comfortable so you know your abilities your strengths and stuff like that and then from there you just move on now onto my hair yeah 
yeah i'm like at the point in my life where i don't know if it's just like i grew up too fast but i honestly i want to get so much stuff done but i know that it's like you have to be doing everything what it needs to at its own pace because you can't rush any kind of success like sometimes i feel like i'm running out of time like i think everything is like go 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 with me because like especially when i started like working in the pharmacy like it's just constant go 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 i'm pretty sure it's a 350 so you have to get things done and i just like that just really made me like realize that i really do want to go into the pharmacy for like it was like an automatic yes oh look at the smoke not too much mine is already straight but i just want to touch it up Yeah, and these apartments be expensive because why are you charging me like three thousand dollars for like 950 square feet with one bathroom not even a bedroom like yo, i don't like this seat up like since when this shit gets so expensive like i get like you know inflation and you know jobs and whatnot that are making more money to afford the living but bitch my goals for 2024 i do want to start hitting the gym because i just feel like not that like i lost myself but, like you know we all go through a phase where it's like school work school work and then you forget about the healthiness of your body and stuff like that so i really do want to become mindful of that and like fit it into my schedule and like remember like take care of yourself because that's the only way you will thrive is if you take care of yourself if you have the money to get your lashes done and your nails done and be like on t do it because the more you feel better about yourself the more shit gets done or maybe that's just me. Uh, my hair's been growing and i love that for me y'all i'm planning to go to cancun oh my god i'm so excited i'm planning to go to cancun in december of 2024 because for college we get like a whole month off but I'm hoping that by that time I'll be like a graduate. So like I can like have even more fun. Like, bitch, I'm done with college. I feel like it's gonna be trips all 2024, vibes all 2024. Getting this money up, getting this life good. Because I refuse to like, my hair looks oily, y'all. It's like day five in the middle. We'll get an iced cappuccino from Duncan. Yeah, I've been obsessed with like the order of an iced cappuccino with oat milk, two shots of vanilla, and then one caramel swirl. Don't quote me. One thing about me, I'm gonna have some Duncan with no kind of shame. School's good, nothing too crazy. I always just kind of stay to myself. I did have a group of friends, but you know, we all go through that phase in high school where you have a lot of friends and then slowly you like end up by yourself but i feel like that's just part of life as well like as i grow up in my 20s well i don't even have friends right now so as i grow up in my 20s i'll probably have my same little little ish you know but i loved high school it was an experience it was a moment it taught me a lot about life and it just prepared me for where i am now as corny as that is because i did go to proctor amen if you know, you know. You see. Is it straight? If you say yes, I better be straight by the time I really look at this shirt. Because I do not be looking at the back of my head. If I can tell you about how I became a pharmacy technician at the age of 17. So, I used to work at and i was like a regular cashier and i think i applied there like 2022 2022 july 24th july june. June, june, june june it was my first job when i turned 16 i applied because my sister had like already worked there so it was like convenient as fuck and so i got hired and then i was like a csa and I worked my ass off because, you know, first job, you want to make a good impression. And as you guys know, I'm a workaholic, so I'm going to get my work done. Trust. And under new management, I was like, 
so annoying because like the manager that already knew me like they knew i get down they knew i do my shit and then i was promoted to um a dh which is like you work in the pharmacy but up front as well and at first you needed to be 18 for that but i guess like some things changed because i i was a dh at the age of 16 so i was promoted like i was promoted before my one year mark i think and so then i had like a first day back there and it kind of went well i was like okay i get the pace of it i get it we need to get shit done and i'm here for it so then i started working back there like it's like full time so i could like learn and then i turned 17 and then ordered to pharmacy technician and before i think in july actually in july because it was before i started college and so then i started it and it was like i loved it so much and i still do like i i wouldn't necessarily go back but i did love it and i learned so much about like medication and stuff like that like what are things for how things go like insurances what covers what doesn't cover and then i had to do the six month like learning courses and i learned a lot and so i was gonna because at the six month mark you can like um take your certification which is like that means you can give shots to people and i was like that's so great because when you go into the nursing field you're gonna have to be you know on that so i'm like it's good that i'm gonna get a head start at such a young age and then so my six month mark was actually this december i believe this this month that we're in right now but i left the company um before i went to vegas i think like a day or two before vegas because i just felt like i worked so hard to like get where i'm at and it was just a constant like just like the people there not that they were table i loved my coworkers down they were like right or die i loved them so much but i just felt like you know when it's time to go it's time to go like i just felt like god was telling me you're on to bigger and better and you just have to let this go like it was an experience i learned so much from it and i just feel like it was my time to go and i'm totally okay with that i don't regret it at all so right now i'm just going through like what does that look like that apply to write it as you know and yeah i'm just chilling honestly we don't go back to school until january 11th for college I don't know if you guys go back earlier, but we get like a whole month off. Like I've been off since I had eighth. So like a little over like a month because we go back on the 11th. And this semester, I'm taking a lot of filler classes because of my scholarship. And so I'm taking like a sociology class and then I'm taking psychology. I took psychology last semester, but this is like, I guess like the second part of it. So I'm taking like, lifespan development i think it is and then i'm also taking an english class so excited for this first because i feel like it's my time to shine it's my time to grind so i will keep you all posted on that i definitely will because i want this like page to be about like seeing myself flourish in life and being able to like look back and be like damn i fucking did that shit and i just feel like even though i don't know who will watch this video but i feel like if you want to do something go for it like nothing is stopping you only yourself trust because if you really put your mind to something you can achieve anything you want to and i feel like i get like um some restrictions with like age and stuff like that but even then find ways to become educated of the field you want to go into because online is free you can google and learn and take courses about anything that you want to like specialize in or have a career so just feel like put your mind to it and you will definitely go far in there and that's always been my mind so i'm gonna work my ass off trust yeah actually as corny as it is this was me class of 2023 i have brown hair y'all i got it pink but class of 2023 and i could be more grateful to really my mind <laughs> my mind my mindset and the people around me that made me feel like whatever i put my mind to can accomplish 
Okay, so now that the hair is laid, we're gonna go in with this Olaplex. Y'all, the way, well, my hair kind of looks a little dead, but the way that I keep my hair, like, surviving is definitely Olaplex, I tell you. Their shampoo, their conditioner, their number three, everything. So I'm going with their Olaplex, number seven. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my palm like this. This one's all, like, yellowy, and I'm just gonna go like this. I'm just gonna eat the hair down. And I'm gonna move this side because a little bit does go a long way. Gotta make sure to get the ends because it's just breaking. Oh, the bag needs to be brushed. Back on my little Puerto Rico necklace. If you know, you know. Bad bitches only. Thank you. Let's see, now I gotta put my mirror back. We're gonna go. Actually, we're gonna turn this off because if I start a house fire. Where am I sleeping tonight? So this is Maybelline something. I don't know because I've had this for like years. So I'll do a little bit under my under eyes because I do have like bags. A bitch has been sick for like two weeks. I'm like, y'all need to let me go. You want me to do a little bit on like my red dots? Which reminds me of the one I went to. It was like a top one. I've been so tunnel visioned into what I want to do. It's insane. Yeah, I got like little hairs here, so we're gonna cut them off. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I think so. Yes or no? I just call this like my little maintenance. I don't really do too much. I do like a makeup girl. I do have makeup though because like you know for your birthday you do gotta pop out and have the makeup. But we're just gonna blend this in like this. So I like to like it's gonna be a weird face, but there you go. Well. <laughs> in with the uh, rare beauty i think this is uh nearly berry it's it's kind of like a lip tint it's not really like lipstick but it does like tint the lips so i go like this and i just do it on the bottom like this and then i just kind of like rub it in like so now we're gonna pick out an outfit and i'll be right so i don't really know what vibe i want to go for i'm thinking like so cute and comfy because it is like I lost track of time. I think it's like three, three like forty or something like that. So, and I'm not gonna be out for long. I'm just gonna like chill, maybe go to my boyfriend's house. I don't know, but we're gonna find a cute, comfy outfit. So, let's go. Okay, yeah. So we are in my closet. Don't ask me how I got the setup. Couldn't tell you. So I have everything like color coordinated. So, like my light colors are this way, and then my dark colors are that way. So let me see if I'll go wear like a cute little two piece matching set black Nike hoodie and I think I'm gonna do some sweatpants to match let me get them because they're down there this one and then I have the matching sweatpants let me show y'all but they kind of look like two different black I'm just gonna put this on and then I'll be right back I'm gonna pair it with my pair of my easy slides and I think I'm gonna do white socks and the white will like balance out like the black and whatnot so I got my glasses on, so then I'm gonna go in with my Versace bright crystal. And don't say there's nothing in there, cause there's something in there, okay? You gotta use it all up. Y'all, so I am on my way to the post office and then Plato's closet. I got one package down there for the post office and then that whole bag and like a pair of heels that I literally never wore. See y'all when I arrive at either location. Okay, y'all, so I am at Plato's Closet, and they told me that I have to, like, wait until they, like, text me, and then they'll let me know, like, when the clothes is ready or, like, how much they're gonna give me for it. And I'm just gonna chill in the car because turns out the post office is fucking closed. Oh, my God. The fucking lighting is terrible. Y'all, let me fix this for y'all because if I'm gonna get my YouTube guiding, y'all gotta be able to see me real good. But I almost got lost coming here because... Y'all, I really don't go out much, so I really be having to, like, look at the GPS. And why I almost took, like, the exits of Syracuse. 
I think it's best to stay off the road. They gave me like $30 and they only took like five pieces of clothing. I'm like, yeah, I have a whole bag. I mean, they took those heels that I had, but they didn't even take the box. I'm like, all right. I think that's fine. That's 30 bucks that I didn't have three seconds ago. And so I'm going to check if Green and Wave is open. It's like my favorite place ever. And then I'll see from there. So I'll let you guys know. I ended up not getting green away because my mom got wings, so I just ate wings. And, um, yeah, I'm crazy. Just binge watching my show, and that's really it. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video since this is my first video. Bear with me, okay? Trust the next one will be better. But, thank you so much for watching my video, and.